Hello and welcome. Today I want to take this character creator for horse and rig it inside Unreal Engine 5. Right, before we begin today, I just want to give you a quick channel update. I decided to build a new system so I could do more. Every single problem that could happen when you're building a new PC or workstation has happened. Uh, this morning, this system you're watching me recording this on took an hour to boot. <laughs> so um, I had to mess around with bootloaders and all sorts. So I am going to be limiting the content I'm putting out for the next uh, month, maybe. Uh, but then I'll be back to normal after that, hopefully. Right, so let's proceed. With what I've just told you in mind, I'm going to keep this basic today. We're going to take this character creator for horse, and I'm just going to create an IK rig inside Unreal Engine 5. I won't be doing any full body IK or anything today, um, but I will be doing that in future. Okay, so let's proceed. First thing we need to do is export the horse. I'm going to go to export, FBX, and selected. I'm going to choose Unreal and I'm going to just choose Mesh and I think I'm happy with everything else and I'm going to hit export. Right, here we are inside Unreal Engine 5. I've just created a basic scene with a landscape and a sky. Uh, that's not important because that's not what we're doing today. Okay, so I'm going to come into my content folder. I already have a CC horse folder here. I've already uh, done this before for something else. And so I'm going to name this new folder uh, CC horse and we'll call it Oops, I don't want to all capitalize that. There. there we go. Oops. And I'm going to go into that folder and then I'm going to import. Here it is. And open. I'm going to choose high quality shader for this. I don't know if it's absolutely necessary. And for skeleton, none. Um, update reference skeletal post. So I'm ticking all these except for mesh lo uh, LODs because I don't have any. But if you do have more than one level of detail, then you would check here. And apart from that, everything is fine. I don't want to import animations, so I uncheck that. And that's it. And hit import. So let's open up the horse. The auto setup program that I am running is the latest version from Reillusion. Uh, there is some problems downloading it from the website, but uh, via the hub it updated for me. I think it's 1.24, uh, this character creator and icon auto setup import options plugin. Um, and if you look, they have improved the hair and the textures and etc. There, There is a list of what they've improved and the hair is much better. There we go, anyway. So we've got our horse now, and I want to create an IK rig for this. So I'm going to go animation, IK rig, and I need to be careful here to click on the right thing. Because uh, I have two of <laughs> these CC horses, that's going to get confusing. Uh, CC horse tut, that's the one I want. And I'm going to call this CC horse oops uh, we'll call it tut version 2 right so let's open up the ik rig right here is our horse so to begin we have this root bone so we will create a new chain and call that root oops root Pelvis, right click on this and set retarget root for the pelvis bone. We are now going to move on to the spine. So we're going to choose spine one, two, three, and call this spine. And then go neck, neck one, neck two, 
neck three and head and create a chain and call this head. Then we're going to come down to left clavicle and we're going to create a chain for this and call it left clavicle. Then we're going to come to right clavicle and do the same, except call it right clavicle. There we go. Right, next I want you to choose left upper arm, forearm, hand, finger zero, finger one, and I'm actually going to stop there and not, there's a end bone down here. I'm not going to touch that for now. And I'm going to create a chain. We'll call this left arm. You just imagine that it's a humanoid left arm. Okay. And then I'm going to come to my right upper arm, forearm, hand, finger zero, finger one. Le again, leave the end bone and we'll call this right arm. I know it's a little bit strange because it's not a humanoid, but it's just the way I like to work. You can name it whatever you want as long as you keep it consistent. Right. So now let's move on to those back legs. So thigh, calf, horse, link, foot, toe. And again, I'm leaving the end bone. And we'll call this left leg. Then move on to the right leg, right thigh, calf, horse, link, foot, toe. And call this right leg there we go so now we have a root a spine a head a left clavicle right clavicle left arm right arm left leg right leg so what we need to do now is the tail so we come to uh, tail Tail zero, one, two, three, four, five. All the tail bones. And create chain and obviously call this tail. Okay, there are some extras on this horse and you may have extras on yours for uh, some of the paraphernalia that goes with the horse. I don't know where it is called. I don't know anything about horses. Um, so we have... Have we got any ears? Yeah, we do. Uh, so we'll come to right ear, right ear nub, and we'll call this right ear. And then come to L ear and L ear nub, and call this left ear. And then come to chin. Sometimes that might be called jaw uh, on some creatures. So, but we'll call it chin in this case. And chin. And I believe that's it. Let's just double check. Go through. Yep. Um. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So now you have a rigged horse. So save and save all again it's beyond the scope of what i want to do today but you can now add a full body ik if that's what you want to do so we would come here and i'll just show you the basics full body ik and set the retarget route on the pelvis um and oh i'd already done that i set root bone on selected solver as well on that pelvis bone and then it says it's missing goals. I would come down to one of these foot bones. Um, I think. Yeah, right on that. Finger zero one. I would create a new goal. Uh, go to the other. Finger zero one on the right. Create a new goal. And. Do the same for the back leg, which is toe zero. 
create a new goal and toe zero on the right hand side and that's it um i possibly would make these goals a little bit a little bit larger let's have a look yep so maybe 1.5 and i would thicken it up slightly to one and i'm going to repeat that process for all of them so if i select this one and 1.5 i'm just as you can see i'm just making the goals bigger uh, there we go 1.5 uh, one for thickness and finally if i can select it there we go 1.5 and thickness multiplier one um but we should without even doing anything else have a very basic ik rig but if you look see how the legs going up inside the body that is where you would add bone settings for these various uh, bones so maybe for the clavicle i would add settings and i would set rotational stiffness to one maybe um i don't know i haven't really done this i've only done like a, a retargeting without the full body ik i tend to do the animation for these horses inside iClone that's where i've been working i'm, I'm new to it and it's just a lot easier inside iClone <laughs> there you go so have a play around and create the full body ik yourself but you, you get the general idea don't you so uh let me delete that and save and that's it we now have a rigged horse okay so i've got another horse and we'll create a retargeter and we'll choose our ik rig as the source and we'll call this horse Oops. let me prefix that with ikr there we go open that up and here is our horse where is uh, my second horse here it is forgive the crudeness of this horse it is a custom horse it's not from character creator and uh, i've removed all the materials etc because it, it does not belong to me this horse so so the ears etc are missing from from here uh, because they're, they're not in this horse's IK rig. In fact, let me open up this second horse's IK rig. There we go. This one does have a full body IK, but mm, yeah, it's got no settings or anything, so I don't know how useful that'll be. Uh, so let's try out an animation, shall we? So I don't have any at the moment according to this, so let me just get one. Before I continue, I got... Uh, the animations I'm about to use from Character Creator itself, the stock. Uh, simply go to Animation, Motion, find Horse, and then you can drag that onto your horse. There we go. Simple as that. And then to export that, you would go to Export, FBX, uh, Selected, and then Motion like so and you would choose your frame rate and then you would just export that so back in our retargeter we now have loads of animations so let me just for example resting the one i just showed you there we go um turn left motion It's not perfect. There's something strange going on with this back leg. The head seems a little bit lower as well. There we go. And that's it. It's just that simple. Decide what chains of bones you, you require and then just match them up in the various IK rigs. And that's it. If you would like to support the channel, you can go to the link in the description and buy me a coffee from buymeacoffee.com. Alternatively, you can click the thanks button underneath this video and help that way. 
More tutorials are on the way, but for now, could you please hit the like and subscribe button and comment below with any questions. I will see you in the next one.